Our weather, it's been very challenging all summer long, extremely dry, and we're heading into a very hot stretch of weather that'll last several days. Not a lot of rain in there, but there are a couple of storms. So here's what we're watching. That heat, 90 to 100 degrees in our viewing area, many of the next several days. In fact, this could really read not just the end of the week, but very well the end of the month forecast. And that dense smoke will, from time to time, still enter the valley. Let's take a look at this heat first and foremost as we go to the big wall. As we head into the next couple of days toward the later portion of the week, these whites and pinks that you see here in the center, that is the big time heat where we'll have a chance at 100 plus degrees. Not all of us will get it every day, but look how long this lingers. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, into the weekend and beyond where the heat moves into the central plains and continues to build as we go through the weekend. But the peak of this heat wave likely to arrive Next week, as we go into the middle of the week, we start seeing some purples on the map and some spots could really be hot. We're talking 100 and teens in some areas. Now, I don't think we'll see widespread 100 and teens and this could change, but it doesn't look like over this period of time we're going to see much rain. And again, it looks like it could last well into the first part of August for some areas as well. So any raindrops we can get, we'll take. These are not amounting to much, but as we take you on a little tour, we do have a few showers near Lake of the Woods still from Roseau through War Road. These have been persistent on and off throughout the day. Really, these showers in northwest Minnesota help to cleanse the atmosphere of some of the smoke. Eastern Becker, eastern Ottertail County seeing showers push off to the east. These will be pushing towards you in Park Rapids and Wadena County. Much needed rain could be on the way, but again, only at best a few one hundreds. The FM area seeing some showers make their way through as we speak. And again, a little sidewalk wetter out there to help cleanse the atmosphere. Boy, it smells so fantastic out there. Cool 60s continue northern Minnesota. But there's where the heat is and it's on its way. We still have 80s in Jamestown. Hour by hour forecast shows our evening sprinkles exit to the east and pretty much fizzle out as we go through the overnight hours clearing from the west. We're once again going to be near 70 degrees for most areas. South winds pretty decreasing quite a bit as we go through the day. A lot of sunshine west, a few clouds lingering in central Minnesota and temperatures soaring all the way up into the 90 to 100 degree range for eastern North Dakota. And then as we look out in the Minnesota, even though you have clouds, you too will warm up as opposed to upper 60s and low 70s. A chance at getting back into the low to mid 80s could be a spotty shower or thunder shower here or there tomorrow on a very hot late week day. 72 to start sunshine, light south wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll spend several hours in the low 90s as we go through the afternoon and early evening here in the FM area. Your home tone. <laughs> Hometown snapshot 90 to 100 degrees in eastern North Dakota. A few more clouds and mid 80s to upper 80s for most in northwest portions of Minnesota. And this puppy having a hard time chasing the old stick into the lake because it's just doggone hard to see. Cedar Lake, thanks for your uploaded photos. We appreciate each and every one of them. Friday hotter still in Fargo. We'll see some triple digits around. A few thunderstorms to the north the way it's looking. Saturday and Sunday look dry and hot. 90 to 100 degree weather continues next week with just hit and miss spits of precipitation here and there. Mike, all in all, a hot dry stretch ahead with smoke returning here and there. Whether you're a dog or not, stay close to some cool water. It's a good idea. Seems strange to